undoubtedly going to be a tough one but I think that the views are absolutely going to make up for it what do you think huh I'm going to show you the good the bad and the ugly get ready for some pain cave ugly let's go good morning everyone welcome today I don't know which day it is it's May 20th welcome from Hope BC it is a stunning stunning day today look at the mountains we can see them today today the Kona and I are climbing mountains serious mountains but first breakfast let's get to it and just like that I found some other shore cyclists in Hope there we go never too late cycling Hi. across Canada Hi. two couples nice here we go how it's never too late to reach your goals there you go. Absolutely. How are you finding everything? It's been fantastic. Outstanding. Um, we're a little bit nervous about the climb today, but mm -hmm. the weather's gorgeous. So yep. Good. Yep, How same thing. Yeah, same nervous about the climb, but every time we, we feel that there's a low moment or we're unsure, look up or say hi. Because when you look up, look what's behind you, absolutely amazing. And when you say hi, you meet people like you. Yeah, and we're so, grateful for that. Yeah. So safe travels to you. Yeah. Hope you have a wonderful Thank one. You. Thank you. So here we go. Let's climb that mountain. We're taking three, baby. We're taking three. The beast. what I see. A wrapper. I'm going to take this wrapper and throw it out in the garbage and I, a little bit of a rant, I don't understand why people do this. Why would you want to litter such a beautiful, beautiful spot? And why can't you just take your garbage with you? This has no place here. Update from the bike. It's tough going. up and up and up all right my sweets may be a little bit squished but they're going to taste amazing nevertheless rolling pin bakery in hope yum, 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 yum. who's ready to ride bikes i'm ready to ride bikes look at the view A tiny bit at a time literally like two three hundred meters at a time and then stopping pausing and resuming it's tough going now tough going so remember the little plastic wrapper that I picked up on the side of the road well to the humans who left it here's what you should do with garbage put it in the garbage bin not so difficult, is it? I've reached a pretty challenging section and there's not much of a shoulder here. So there's instances where trucks and RVs come really close. Um, the only good thing is when they do come by, there's this gust of wind, which is actually quite nice because it just propels me up, but it's a little bit scary. All right, I haven't walked today yet. So I'm, I'm, I pushed my legs, I think, as far as I can go. And I need to walk now. Update from kilometer 14.3, outside of Hope. It's really rough. It's rough for me. The incline has gotten quite steep. The shoulder has gotten quite narrow. And uh, it's tough. Also wanted to point out that there's quite a bit of debris in the shoulder with the little tiny sliver of a shoulder that we have. So 
It's uh, metal pieces, perhaps pieces of tire, but there's a lot of it. I'm in a slump, a deep pain cave. Like I, all of a sudden I have no energy. I travel with about two liters of water and I am quickly running out of water. So I think right now is going to be the very first time I'm going to be filtering water. I'm gonna get down there, get some water, use my filter, and see how things go. All right, got my water. Let's get back up to the bike. Hmm, easier said than done. Woo! Yeah, I almost fell. But I'm not adverse to work. It's just good to keep in mind, yeah? That it takes a little bit of time, but not bad. Now I have another about liter of water, which is great. I'm doing better now. My spirits are up. My energy levels up. I have also have a bit of a tailwind, which is certainly helping. But yeah, this is challenging. This is challenging physically, but also mentally. I think climbing up to Manning Park is as much of a mental challenge as it is a physical one. So let's get going. Don't forget your sun protection, people. I just crossed the sign that informed me that the Hope Slide viewpoint is, is upcoming, but I think this is already it, right there. This is the Hope Slide area, oh my God. This is massive. Here's the information board about the Hope Slide. Early Saturday morning, January 9th, 1965, an enormous landslide descended into this valley of the Nicolum Creek, destroying about three kilometers of the Hope Princeton Highway. Four persons in three vehicles stopped by a small snow slide earlier were caught in the wave of mud which swept back into the valley from the south and all were killed. Two of the victims were never found. She's leaving Hope, the Hope Slide area. The weather is changing quickly. It started to rain a little bit. So I need to get myself to some sort of a campsite. So my bike is making some sort of weird sound. I think it's the back wheel. I don't know what's happening. I can't see anything. Took the bags off and of course it's starting to rain. So I'm just going to press on and hopefully the bike is okay. Yeah, we're descending. Look at the view everyone. Look at the view. So the thing that worries me a little is I, my accommodation for tonight will be meaning <laughs> I don't really know which campgrounds are open some have been prolonged closed because of the snow the snow not melting I think that what I'll just I'll get to the lodge check the prices there and then ask them for recommendations in the area for camping I think that's the plan I'm still doing well for time it's only after two so still some sunlight left but you know I'm in the mountains so anything can change very quickly so that's my only worry at this point look at this beautiful place look at it oh my god has the climbing been worth it absolutely it is so stunning here stunning there's the sutra whatever was bugging her whatever the clicking was that has resolved itself for the moment i hope it doesn't return it wasn't the spokes i checked them i couldn't find maybe it was a bit of a stone that was rubbing somewhere i don't know but it's gone so don't return noise don't return
about a man walking, pulling a trailer. And look at this today. Today <laughs> I <is>. met him. <laughs> there he is. So can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Rico from Germany. And what are you yeah, doing? I'm, a, I'm a, on a walk around the world. What shoes are you wearing? Keen. Keen shoes. Always, Keen shoes. Always the same model, so it's yeah. comfortable. There so. you go. Comfortable. And surprisingly, my, my feet are fine. So just yeah. small blisters. Yeah. So not like in the beginning. They adjusted. Huge blisters. Okay. <laughs> and your trailer, you've attached it to where? To your hips? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. So you're pulling it. So it's the best oh way my goodness. you can do it. And you have a solar panel on it. That's yeah, amazing. So you can charge my mobile phone or camera batteries. Yeah, and how is that working out, the solar system? Like, is it okay? Uh, it's enough? Never had it's this enough. Do you maybe people find you or connect yeah. with you? If to like to follow my journey, so there's a website called ricoslongwalk.com or Facebook group you can join. It's also called Rico's Long Walk and on Instagram as well. Yeah, so Perfect. looking forward to, to see you. This point it just hurts. I just can't do this anymore. I think I'm like seriously reaching my breaking point right now. I feel like crying. I'm so angry. I want to stop, but there's nowhere to stop. There are no campgrounds here and I just need to keep climbing. a really hard time right now update I think you know what I'm doing pushing my bike I mean I have no words I'm hungry I'm so hungry <laughs> I'm getting emotional again. <sighs> Just coming into Manning Park, the campgrounds, and I wanted to show you there's snow on the ground. A lot cooler here, but I'm almost there. I'm almost there. It's been a tough day, tough ride. Well, let me tell you, one way to blow your $50 per day budget is to get a suite at a resort. Well, I have to say that the suite is somewhat underwhelming, but nevertheless, here I am. This is the price of stupidity and poor planning. So it's now quarter to eight, I believe. And uh, I just arrived at Easy Manning Park. There is a campground that is nine kilometers away. And there was just absolutely no way I could be riding anymore today. Today's done. And so, a suite at Easy Manning Park. Lodge. Translation. Subscribe. And hit the like button. I don't know what else. <laughs>